coming down at a good rate. So slowing down our speed is definitely helping us uh, get a little more distance to, uh, to descend here. So passing through 13,300 now. And actually we can go ahead and take a bunch of flaps here. Feed break. Feed break. Feed break. Uh, yeah, I will actually lift that speed break because it does want to increase the throttles there. We'll actually slow down. Let's go one nine or zero for now. So it'll decrease speed even more. Uh, we don't want to use any more thrust right now until we're, level, until we're uh, leveled off. And actually, uh, the runway extension for runway two zero at eight miles is thirty two hundred feet. So I'll set that to thirty two hundred now. on that descent there. Definitely not. Alrighty. So. We'll go ahead and get our landing lights on. And we'll go ahead and make a traffic call. We're about uh, eight miles out. And there's an uh, uh, aircraft in Charlotte, so we'll definitely make a traffic call. Concord Regional Area Traffic, Boeing November 160 Alpha Mike is type Boeing 717, seven miles north of Concord Regional. Inbound to land, runway 20, full stop, Concord Regional Area Traffic. Had made our radio call there, and what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring our gear down, and that's going to help us slow down a lot. Now we're coming a little high. I'm kind of tempted to actually, you know what? We'll go ahead and do it. So we'll disconnect autopilot. Autopilot. And auto throttle. Autopilot. Well. Autopilot. And we're just going to do an S turn to help us get a little bit more distance. So. Uh, let's see here, because I don't really want to come in that fast on this approach. So, right now we are at 4,200 feet. So, I want to get us down a little more and help slow us down for the uh, approach here. Altitude. So, we just got our altitude alert there, 1,000 feet. While I'm setting this up, go ahead before I forget, arm the speed brake for landing. And we'll do another turn back towards it. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll do one even better. We'll just do a right 360, so we're going to go the other way, actually. That'll give us a little bit more space. I don't mind S-turns, but the thing is, is you got to have a good amount of space for the S-turns. The 360 is a nice loop to help kind of swing you back around for the approach. I much rather like doing 360s than, uh, than S-turns if I need to space myself or create more distance. So, uh, let's see, we're actually getting a little low, so I'm going to keep it above. So you get 2,300 feet right now. Stabilizer motion. Right now, I'm actually playing around with the uh, stabilizer trim right now to uh, help make the flight level. Stabilizer motion. So it's easier for me to control the pitch up and down. So, let's see here. So right now we're parallel with runway 2, and now we are cutting. Onto base, if you will, for runway 2 zero. So still descending. I want to get that leveled off because right now we're at 2200 feet. I don't want to go any lower because there are antennas in the area. So let's see. Alright, 
landed at a speed of 160 indicated airspeed. I'm going to go ahead and put down another notch of flaps. There we go. We actually gained a little bit of altitude. And you can actually see on the navigation display that green arrow is going to tell us, or that green line, is going to tell us our predicted path when we're turning. So it's a pretty helpful little tool, but since we're on the visual approach, we'll go ahead and take a look at the window and see if we can see the airport, which I do right there. Uh, so we're coming in a little slanted right now. We're actually climbing, so I'm going to get our pitch down a little bit. Stabilizer motion. You're going to hear that notification or that uh, alarm quite a bit in a 717 and MD-80 when you're playing around with the trim, so that's just something to kind of get used to. You just kind of tune it out after a while. So, all right. Stabilizer motion. Much better lined up on the runway. We'll make our final call. Concord Regional Area Traffic, Boeing November 160 Alpha Mike, is type Boeing 717 on a final for only 20 full stop. Concord Regional Area Traffic, last call. Alrighty, so we can see the Pappy lights right there to the left of the runway, those four white lights. So right now they're telling us we're a bit too high, which I do agree right now. So we're going to see if we can increase our descent rate. And we're probably going to get yelled at by uh, that glide slope. Actually, get a little bit of lag right now, which I do not like one bit. <laughs> so we're kind of diving in right now. One thousand. All right, so that was a call from Charlotte. So he's taking off runway three six. Sync rate. From what I could hear. Sync rate. It's a little bit staticky since he's all the way to Charlotte. Sync rate. Charlotte traffic two six two zero three clear three six right. Four hundred. Ready? So now we're kind of leveling 300. ourselves off. Still a little high. Sync rate. Bad. And start to level off now. So we get one red. 100. And there we go. We're going to fly slow. A little above now. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, reverse is out. Here we go. Welcome to Concord, North Carolina. So that was pretty much it. Uh, we'll go ahead and swing this over to parking now. And, um, oh, let's see. Go ahead and let's clean up a little bit. So, spoilers tracked in. We can go ahead and lift up our flaps. We'll turn right off here onto Charlie, and we'll taxi to the ramp. And we'll make our um, call on Unicom as well, announcing that we're clear the runway once we do so. There we go. Concord Regional Area Traffic, Boeing number 160 Alpha Mike is clear of runway 20, taxiing to the ramp via taxiway Alpha, Alpha 4, Concord Regional Air Traffic. Those guys can, in Charlotte can probably hear me, but probably not too well, honestly. Um, so let's see here. Let's go dock. Let's go dock 3. And that's going to be a parking spot along here. Uh, before I forget, uh, APU. So, like I mentioned before, um, when we started up, it's actually piggybacked off of the uh, starter pump for the engines. So we need to take starter pump on, ignition... Actually, ignition will, can actually be auto for the APU, actually. Uh, APU gen on, and master switch to start. And we'll see the APU uh, right here. I don't think I need to turn it on. Oh, nope, I don't. So there goes the APU RPM right there. So that's building up. Okay, excellent. And we can actually get rid of these landing lights here. 
high intensity lights and all that good stuff. Some of that stuff, like the stairs and everything, are just kind of in the way, and I don't really like that stuff there. So, pulling in, that, I guess, getting a little fucking the windshields actually. Charlotte traffic in from Route 87 is taking off on runway 18 left. We'll be climbing Seven. to flight level. Zero zero, and we'll be on the icons for standard instrument departure. Alrighty, so taxi light off. APU check is on. Gen, we'll turn the air on for the APU as well. Master switch run. Check to make sure our APU is running down here, and it is. So we can go ahead and shut down engine two and one. And I think there was a fastest seatbelt sign here. We actually never ticked them off. <laughs> So we can turn start pump off as well. So that about does it. We can go in here, add some wheel chocks, cones, of course, and open up the baggage bay doors there. And that's about it.